These videos are a stream recording hybrid. Random commentary based on the stream chat may be found. Stupid gifs found from the stream chat will also be found. Viewer discretion may be advised. Let's try bribing a guy. That seems like a perfect idea. Benjamin, my good buddy. Listen up. I got something new to tell ya. I'm not the person the compass. I'll tell you another one when I see ya again. <laughs> okay. Well. That's not the quest, though, is it? Oh, actually, it seemed to be the quest. I'm confused. Uh, Well, I need to fill up my car while I'm here anyway. Got a bunch of agent honor for some reason. So I guess his wife doesn't come out in the rain. Or maybe I'm just getting unlucky having to deal with his crap all the time. That is disgusting. I seriously don't. I don't think either of these people should be allowed to own a business. One of them, like, tries to rub herself against your car and doesn't even wash it. The other one freaking uh, spits on it and then wipes it down a tiny bit. I'm not sure which one's worse. Emily's house should be right up here, then I just have to wait seven minutes. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. I'm not, but thank you though, York. I'm happy that someone at least cares about me. Wait, what do you mean, Agent Honor? Uh, let's see. Check in my map, that is in fact Emily's house. Okay, just need to wait five more minutes to see if it opens up. If it becomes open, then I can head inside and say hello to her and do a quest. I hope you guys enjoy this. She's still closed, really? We're gonna wait until 901. Okay, get out of this car! Zach, is there something here that you want to check? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. Sorry about the little bit of, uh... being gone there for a moment. Family again. Hello? Open your door, Emily. Seriously, I waste I waste all the time. I came so far just to fail. This is annoying because it doesn't give me any reason why this should happen. This seriously, the everything says I should be able to do this right now. She's home, it's raining, it's after 9 p.m. This is one of the chapters that I'm actually allowed to do this. Chapters 2 to 4, 6 to 8, 11, and 13. The host of it is M Emily Wyatt. <sighs> I'm in chapter. <sighs> Whatever. I should be able to do it, but I'm not able to. I'm... 
I'm not sure why. I'm gonna eat a donut. Now, I need to go home and sleep the day away. Since you know I already wasted all my time today, it's already 9 p.m. and I can't do anything now because I thought I'd be able to go and do something else. So, yeah. Let's just go inside. For those of the uh, video sorts, you guys are going to have a little bit of a cut here as I uh, make our way to, f uh, what was it, 3 p.m. tomorrow? For those of the stream chat, you get to listen to cool music. <sighs> Good night. I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. Never mind. There's actually another quest to do with Lily Hi here. There. I was just coming in to buy something, but okay. Agent York, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, really? It's about our storage room again. Hun, it's a mess. But this time, the mess was caused by Keith. Is there any way I could get you to do another favor for me? <sighs> Let's get one thing straight, Lily. Just for the record, I didn't come here to organize your storage room. Oh, my God. Oh. Never... Oh. Oh. What? Yeah. No, my head off. Oh, my head off. Oh, my God. What? My never. Why is he muttering? This is scaring me. No, my head off. Oh, my head off. Hmm. Uh, uh, game. Okay, well, I just skipped it. Let's do it after that Thank horrifying you. display. The storage room is this way. <sighs> that was terrifying. Oh my gosh. Alright, logically... Okay, it's really easy to do if I could just push those in the way that I wanted to, but it's not going to be that easy. Or is it? Actually, this is going to be really easy if it's really this easy. If it's really this easy, I'm just going to... Um... Okay, I need to check here. Uh... So if I push this this direction, all right, then I push this, oh, I see the problem here. Once again, family things, yeah. Okay, so... Okay. I think what I need to do is I need to push this all the way over here. So I just... 
it tricks you into thinking that it would be really simple by moving something off to the side. Okay, if I push that there, then I'm going to need to... I might have actually screwed myself in how I set this up, though. Yeah, okay, so I need to move things around a little bit, so I'm going to reset this. Reset boxes. Now, what I need to do is get on the other side without screwing myself. So, I mean, the simple thing would just be to push this in here. Push this all the way down here. And push this over here. Okay, I have no idea why he kept pushing. Move this here. This out here. I just screwed myself. I just did the same thing I was doing last time. I, okay, I, mm. Okay. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm still going to push this in here. Push this one box in here. Run all the way down here. Push this only one down this time. Run around it. Push. How do I want to do it? This down here. This down here. Run all the way around here. Push this down here. And I think I got it, guys. Assuming I didn't just not think about something that I should have been thinking about. Yeah, seems like I did it. Wait, I didn't mean to stop that. Problem is that takes a while to push down this. This is what I've been regretting. Apparently it takes quite a bit of my stamina as well, since it seems to be just as hard to push as sprinting would be. At least York's pretty fit as, you know, his heart rate goes down pretty quickly. Then you get onto this side of this. This right over here. Almost got it, guys. Easy as pie. Agent York, thank you for this. Here's your reward. The key. Key to the closet? What? You and trying to tell me something? What does this key open? It's the key to the closet in our garage. Closet? Yes, and there's something in there that's really valuable to Keith. He says it's the most important thing in his life. Second only to his family. I don't really see it in the same light. There are lots of other things in there, too. And you can help yourself. 
Which means this wasn't related to the investigation after all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trick you. <laughs> I just couldn't think of another way to get you to help. You're quite a woman, Lily. Only you would be able to get me to clean up that storage room three times. But it's a good thing. Helping people out feels good, after all. And we FBI special agents are all living and breathing heroes. Right, Zach? Thank you, Agent York. Don't let this stop you from coming by, will you? Keith and I both enjoy your company. Don't worry about that, Lily. I'll be back. Part-time job completed. Part-time job three completed. The legendary guitar start. Great. All right, let's view my list. Quest number 21. Lily Ingram, use the closet key to obtain uh, hard work to open the closet in Keith's garage. He should be home in the afternoons on rainy days. So the next rainy day afternoon, I'll come by. Um, wait, where's Lily? That's not her. Well, I guess I'll be talking to Keith then. I've never really spoken to him, actually. Well, besides that one time, but you know. Spiritual map A, a special, a special spiritual map of Greendale. Okay, this list is quite different. Uh, I'll buy this. Hey man, the spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where like spooky stuff happens. I'll tell you a story, okay, man? But, uh, don't go spreading it around. Spirits, they don't like publicity. Back when this place was a lumber kingdom, you know, the rockin' 80s, that tunnel was the main connection from the lumber yard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would, like, come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were, like, all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the U.S. of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know. They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. I guess maybe that was the start of all the... bad times. Bad times? Oh yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times, man. The conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Neither side was backing down, and that made things worse. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack, and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then, one morning, they had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession, but we'll never know what they really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted. He called her an idiot. And then he stormed out and went to work. If only he had known, that would be the last word he would ever say to her. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them. But the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud, and the lantern flew up into the air. He slammed on his brakes too late, of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill. A peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man. And the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. 
What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself, or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now, some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told you it was called Cope's Tunnel, right? Well, check this out. Some people call it Corpse Tunnel now. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool, I have to say. Oh, hey, I miss your Ryan. <laughs> yes, I am, Ryan. Uh, I've been going around buying things. Okay, I'm gonna quit shopping here. And let's head outside. Oh, why is that orange? Oh, yeah, that's the other quest, wasn't it? By the way, Ryan, I have a question for you. What are the requirements to go to Emily's side quest? Because I was there after 9pm on a rainy day and it didn't want me. So, I'm just wondering, what is it that I have to do? And also, how do I get my car back from Lysander's junkyard? Because I know they mentioned it during the first day I was here and I can't figure out when it's open. Alright. I think I'm going to go to Cope's Tunnel. I know I'm getting sidetracked from the main quest here, but why not? Uh, we're on chapter 6, Mr. Ryan. This is the chapter after the uh, lumber mill. I had my first death in there, it really sucked. Instead of that suck. Though the crowbar is way too powerful, man. Breaks everything, in my opinion. Seriously, I just went in there and just killed everything. <laughs> this tunnel is huge. That's the fam that's the famous paranormal spot they were talking about. Maybe I should give it a shot. Sure, why not? And I'm sent to the dark world. Seems like it. Hey friend. Insta kill. Insta kill. Ins I said insta kill. If I could hit you. You know what? I mean, I'm full on bullets anyway. Amazing. Amazing. I've been full on bullets for a while. I've not done the hospital side quest. I've not went in there yet, so. Well, went back in there yet, I should say. What kind of item dropped over here? More, yeah. I can't hold any in my box or in my hands. Deaded. I... I don't understand these answers. Let's stay together, I guess?
Alright. Guess I'm heading into here. Oh, hey, more people to kill. Yay! A bit later in today's in game day, and I'll be able to change into my new outfit that the stream pulled. So according to Mr. Ran, there are two side quests that I missed out on in the hospital. I'll have to do those soon. They all drop 10 millimeter auto bullets, but I don't use my submachine gun very often. My wrench is just too powerful. I like smacking him over the head. My first large first aid kit, I think. Let's stay together. Um, I already did a bunch of the Milk Barn side quests and uh, uh, did another Benjamin one over at the uh, gas station. Hmm, they think their weapons will help them. I'm full on steel pipes already, both my box and my person, but I'm not full on golf clubs, so I'll send this over to my toolbox. I can get a shovel, which I'll stick in my toolbox, because, you know, toolbox. An ice axe, which I will... That's just an ice pick, but okay. Well, I guess a pickaxe, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, a root beer. <laughs> okay. Let's burst through this door. On to the next room. Hey, more shotgun people. That means I should be getting some shotgun bullets soon. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I just get this many shotgun shells, really? <laughs> so this is just a good grind fest area. I mean, if you have the, like, if you have the wrench, it is nothing. And you can literally just get infinite ammo pretty much here. A mission knife that I'll send to my toolbox because I don't need more mission knives. Seriously though, I don't even have a shotgun yet. How can I already get close to being full on shotgun shells? This is going to be ridiculous. Yep, I'm full on shotgun shells. I have to send the rest to my toolbox. This is insane. <laughs> I got another flare which I can take and use. Even if the car that they send me A looks cool and B is horrendous music wise. I can't wait for the toolbox to say I'm full on 12 gauge shells though. Because it can't be that far away. It's probably like 5 boxes away. There anything else in here? No. Well, 
that looks like the quest thing to do. But what I want to do is take this. Another submachine gun. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I didn't already have one of those. That submachine gun has infinite ammo, excuse me? Because I didn't already have full ammo, they just gave me infinite ammo. Can I actually just go back in there? I'm so done with everything. <laughs> they just gave me a gun that has... <laughs> I'm done with this game! <laughs> I... <laughs> I love this game so much at this point. Because it's like, it's like Silent Hill, but has like no restrictions on what you get. So you're just so overpowered and just gunning through everything and instead get to enjoy the weird atmosphere of it. That's how I feel about this game at this point. Because I'm enjoying the comedy in this game. I'm enjoying the cool area. I'm enjoying the weird, like, spooks they give you. But I have no worry about anything at this point. Like, nothing has hit me in forever. The only thing to ever kill me was an insta-kill move that I accidentally hit the wrong button for. So, apparently... The original game actually had difficulty levels that uh, you could change at times throughout the game or change it before you started the game. Um, but they got rid of that in the director's cut and instead decided that why not just uh, make it more difficult as time goes on, like most games are. Man, I mean, it works. Because ah, I was really hoping I'd be able to do that. I was really hoping I'd make a full 360, though. Um, but like I was saying... What was I saying? Oh yeah, at this point in the game, I literally just insta-kill everything. Like, the only thing to not die by me is the freaking uh, R-Killer, which never even had, I never even bothered trying to assault. I literally just had a gun on him and decided not to shoot him. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll go and... S well, actually, no, I can actually... Here, I'm going to teleport from here. I don't even know why I bother driving here, because I have other side quest stuff I can do. So, time to teleport over to the hospital. Sorry for anyone who wants uh, story progression, but I just enjoy these side quests quite a lot. And none of them seem especially difficult, so long as you use your head. While I'm outside, I'm going to grab this card. How do I... Well, there's Agent Honor. And apparently the door is locked. But... Says there's a card around here. Hmm. Curious and curiouser. Whatever, I'll figure that stuff out in a little bit. For now, I'm gonna head inside and see about the side quest stuff. And while I'm thinking about it, I need to save the game. You can climb on stuff like a normal human being, but you can't jump like a super soldier in a lot of games. You you can like do a <laughs> short climb, but York doesn't seem like much of a jumper. He has he doesn't have dumb hops. Agent York has an investigation coming on. Uh, we're making progress slowly but surely. Thank you for asking. Um, you know we don't usually do this, but hmm. Let me ask if you need any vials of sedatives or tranquilizers to help with the investigation. You know, oh, won't I need a prescription? I have permission to give you access to the ones that don't need prescriptions, if it'll help with the case, that is. Hmm. Oh, don't worry, though. They're all properly prepared. I didn't mix them myself or anything. 
Don't you trust me? Take a look for yourself, then. They're all legitimate medicines. Okay, let's talk first. Hey, Fiona. What are you reading today? A medical textbook. <laughs> That's good. Keep studying like that, and I'm sure Usha will notice. Really? It would be great if he did. I've been studying a lot recently, and I bet I know more than you. Are you trying to challenge me here? I sure am. You want to take the challenge? I can quiz you, you know. Sounds fun, Fiona. Okay, then. Here are the rules for this quiz. Answer three multiple-choice questions correctly in a row, and you win. Bring it on. Then just let me know when you're ready to start. All right. Medical studies start. Let's see what it says for this uh, side quest. Fiona in the hospital is giving you a quiz on medical matters. Get three correct answers in a row to clear it. Why not give it a try? Before we do this, I want to see. A, there's TV. Clouds the whole day. Nothing to do with that. I didn't figure there would be, but I just decided to check around to see if there was a toolbox or anything nearby. <laughs> Let's talk. You want me to start the quiz? <clears throat> Get ready then. Question one. I don't know this answer. What part of the heart? The right atrium, the right ventricle, or the left atrium? Thinking about the heart, where it goes through. I'm going to say left atrium. Oh, too bad. Dang, I, I don't know the answer here? to that. I don't know much uh, about it. I just didn't get enough sleep, that's all. Uh-huh. I used to say that when I was a poor loser, too. Just let me know if you want me to quiz you again. I'll be right here. I don't know the answer to that, though. I don't know much about the heart. <laughs> like, I know a little bit about muscles and things, but the heart and how the you blood flows is the not quiz? my expertise, I guess. <clears throat> Get ready, then. Question one. How many milk teeth are there altogether? I don't know the answer, to be sure. I know it's... see there's the 12 year old molars that are not the milk teeth there are I'm gonna say 16 oh too bad I'm gonna guess it's 20 Is that then. one too hard for you I don't uh, know the I answer didn't get enough sleep that's all I guess it's uh -huh. 20 I used to say that when I was a poor loser too just let me know if you want me to quiz you again I'll be right here I'm assuming milk teeth are the things that babies, uh, like, you get when you're a young child, right? You want me to start the quiz? You get before you start eating ready, meat then. and vegetables. Question one. Who wrote the medical text Anatomish Tevelen? Excuse me? <laughs> this one isn't medical, though. Colmus. Correct, but that was only Colmus. The okay, Colmus is Here the medical comes. textbook writer. Question two. Contrasting taxonomic kingdoms. Okay. It's Eucharoy and Procorea. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ryan has said it's Eucharite and uh, Procoreoite. I, I, I can't even speak today. So. Correct again. But now, time to bring out the big guns. Question three. Let's see if I know this one. What is the medical definition of shock? Oh, this should be fun. Blood stops circling to organs, a powerful impact to the body, receiving terrible mental damage. I would assume it's the third one because the first two don't actually seem at all related to the case of shock. So, let's do it. 
Oh, too bad. I was wrong. Was that one too hard for you? Uh, I just didn't get enough sleep, that's all. Uh-huh. I used to say that when I was a poor loser, too. Just let Apparently me I'm wrong. want me to quiz you again. I'll be right here. I th didn't think the other two were related to shock, but okay. <laughs> you want me to start the quiz? <clears throat> Get ready, then. Question one. Well, Jocelyn has informed me that I was the second one, and I'm a dummy. Which part of the cell is the cytoplasm? The cytoplasm is the interior including the nucleus, the, ex the interior including the excluding the nucleus, and the entire exterior part. Uh, cytoplasm excluding the nucleus, I believe? I'm going to say that. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Correct! Yep. But that was only the warm-up. I believe cytoplasm is all that uh, fluid in there. 20% of the atmosphere is oxygen. What percentage we do we use breathing? What? Um, 17%? Correct again! But now, time to Because you can't use data. more than there is, and you Question also don't use 0%, three. so it's... You also... What is the medical definition of shock? Okay. We're doing this one again. A powerful impact to the body. Apparently, this is what Jocelyn was saying. So let's see if she's right or not. Oh, too bad. Jocelyn, you was lied to me. You? you uh, I just lied to me. Get enough sleep, that's all. Uh-huh. I used to say that when I was a poor loser, too. Just let me know if you want me to quiz you again. I'll be right here. <laughs> so now I know the right one. It's when the blood stops circulating <laughs> to the organs. You want me to start the quiz? <clears throat> get ready, then. Question one. <laughs> well, what is the medical definition of shock? I have no idea. Correct. But that was only the warm up. Here comes question two. Question two being who wrote the medical text Anatomist Tabalen, a.k.a. Kulmus. Yeah, Kulmus. I guess this one I got it right, so... I get full credit for that one. Correct again. No guess and check, but just now, guess. Time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> Question three. Where does the O blood type take its name from? O. The O antigen that it contains. O means yes to having A and B antigens. O means zero A and B antigens. I would guess. Uh, I don't know the answer. You can see how little I know about blood at this point. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's the second. I don't. Okay, Mr. Ron. No, no, Mr. Steampunk Programmer says that it has zero A and B antigens. thing is that <laughs> none of us know. So I'm going to go with uh, Programmer's response. That can't be. Yeah, thank what? you, Programmer. How? I thought those questions were pretty tough. I'm sorry, Fiona. Was it childish of me to answer them all correctly? No, but it's childish of you to stand there smiling like a winner. I hate to admit it, but you win, Agent. Here, take this as a prize. I got his trading card from that. Oh, okay. Oh man, I don't feel like studying anymore right now. <laughs> well, I got an achievable for it, and got two hundred extra money for it.
Okay, so the way antigens work, apparently, is that an antigen makes it bad to accept blood of other types. Since O has no antigens, that means anyone can accept it. O is a universal donor. Um, but enough about that, and more about this. Guys, next time on Let's Play Deadly Premonition, we're going to be going down to the basement again to talk with Usher, and uh, starting up more side quest stuff before we move on with the story and talk to all the townsfolk about how they should all show me their backs. See you guys next time.